Hi, pet lovers. Thank you for joining Gina's Grooming Channel. Now, we are going to be talking about pet dryers, but we're going to be focusing on pet dryers that are made for the home groomer or maybe people just coming into grooming. Now, professional pet groomers, we invest in some really big dryers, and we have done episodes on our channel where we discuss professional pet dryers and how to use pet dryers as a pro. But if you're working with only a few pets at home, you may not need to make that big of an investment. So we are going to evaluate two dryers that are on a better price point. So we've got one that is under 100 US and another one that is under 200 US to give you guys some more affordable options when working with your pets at home or just starting out in grooming. So our entry level dryer that we're going to be discussing is from a company called Schoenbau. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And they created this mini dryer, a blow vac mini that we're going to go through all the functionality. And I'm also going to show you how it works on some of my clients. And the other dryer, this is the one that's under 200. This is a little bit, has a little more bells and whistles, has um, some more functionality that we're going to discuss. Um, but this is from a company called Kidkin. And this is also a pet dryer that is going to fit under the $200 US category. Now, before we jump into the functionality of each of these dryers, I do want to cover a question which I covered in our pet dryers as a pro series, um, but I want to answer why not use one of these guys. There are two main reasons why you're not going to be using one of these guys to dry your pets at home. Now, if you do have a very small pet with thin coats, you may be able to get away with this. You just want to make sure you don't use it on a heat setting uh, too hot. But if you have a dog with any substantial coat, this is just not going to cut it. You're going to be there for a really long time, putting yourself and your pet through a lot of unnecessary time. So this is one of the reasons why we kind of have to look at a different type of dryer. Now, another point I want to make about these guys, you got to think about it. So the noise on these guys is coming from the motor, which is right here. So if you're using this to dry your pet, their ears are very close to where that motor is, right? Where that sound is coming from. When you're dealing with canister dryers, which you see in a professional environment, right? What we're doing is we're going to take the motor component and take it far away from the pet. So typically you're going to put this component farther away on the floor so that you can dry your pet with the hose, okay? And not frighten them so much with a close motor by their head and by their ears. Now guys, I will say on some of the demonstrations that you'll see uh, following this is that I do leave the dryer on the table um, with the pets while I'm showing you how it works. That's because I'm working with pets that are very accustomed to a dryer. But just know that these canister dryers are designed to be far away from the subject when you're using the dryer. All right, guys, so let me uh, clear up the table. Let's take a look at the Blow Vac Mini from Schoenbau and go through all the functionality. All right, so this is from Schoenbau. Okay, and you can see it's really petite, really nice, lightweight. Uh, this is the Blow Vac Mini. Okay, and it's really pretty simple. I wanna show you what it comes with out of the box. So we've got our unit with some functionality here. We'll talk about that in a second. We've got a hose. And you can see the hose has two different sides, right? This one has a nice grip. This is where your hand goes. So where the grippy thing is, that's where your hand goes. Where the non-grippy thing is, is where we're going to go ahead and attach our hose. And you can see these two little notches here on either side. We just want to fit that in, spin it until it's locked. With this wonderful little dryer, we have three attachments. So if you have a smaller pet, Using the uh, hose with an open side like this is normally okay. But if you have a larger pet and you need a little more oomph, a little more air, and a little more focus, you can use one of these reducing nozzles. Schoenbau sends you three. You have a narrower reducing flat nozzle, a little wider flat reducing nozzle, and a circular, very focused reducing nozzle. So this is going to be for our very big pets, dogs that have very thick coats that require a lot of more airflow. Okay, and I want to show you how to put this in. So I look at the little notches, align it up, and then turn. And now we've got our attachment nozzle. Mm -hmm. So let's look at some of the functionality. Pretty basic. We've got our on, right? It goes straight to fan. Okay, and then we also have heat over here. So it does come with a heating element. Very, very nice. Up top here, we also have our variable speed. So let's turn this guy on and show you how it works. So that's our lowest setting and then variable up. That is powerful. And then we can turn on the heat. Mm. 
very, very powerful with the heat. The air came out warm. So let's take you guys to a clip where I'm showing you exactly how I'm using this on one of my pet clients. guys and i want to show you for maintenance it's pretty pretty simple we have this little uh, dust and hair catcher in the back i just unlocked it you can see the unlock icon and the lock icon and what this will do it will just catch all the hair in the filter so you want to make sure that this is free of hair because it can catch on fire if you don't keep this maintained so be very very careful about doing that after you use it okay and then you just place it back align that unlock on that notch click it back into lock and we are good to go. All right, guys, now I've got the Kidkin box on the table. It is a really beautiful piece of equipment. Let's zoom in and talk about some of the functionality and some of the parts that come with it. Okay, so out of the box, we have our uh, nozzle, right? And we've got a nice grippy part. Um, this guy, we just wanna get in there and then turn it clockwise. We've also got four nozzles and uh, let's take a look at each one of these. Okay, so we've got our focus reducer. We've got two flat heads. Again, one a little more narrow, a little wider. We've got a very interesting uh, nozzle that I will show you when I show you on demonstration. Uh, this is great to go through a silky coat while you're drying. Okay, and to use these reducing nozzles, again, you can use the open hose. For most pets, this works fine. We want to keep it moving and we want to make sure we watch the heat element. We'll talk about that. But for reducing nozzles, they are for our bigger pets that need a little more oomph, a little more airspeed. We align those notches. We just turn. We want to make sure that we're holding on the bottom here. This is locked in. So let's look at the functionality and turn this guy on. Now, guys, as you can see, you have your lit LED screen, so much, much fancier. Um, we also have something very cool on this dryer, which is negative ion technology. So I'm going to turn this on. So I'm going to turn on the fan. I'm going to show you how this works, and then we're going to discuss what that is. So negative ion technology, and you'll see this on a lot of uh, people hair dryers, right? You'll hear it be referred to as ionic technology. But what this does, it reduces static electricity by introducing a negative ion into the airflow. So um, this is a really nice functionality to have, makes the coats uh, less tangly, uh, less easy to mat, okay, by reducing that static electricity. <laughs> Right, guys and also want to show you with maintenance on the kid can dryer really easy peasy in the back of the dryer there's a little tab pop that off and we have this big foam protector this is again what's going to catch the hair we want to keep this free of hair and debris so check that regularly after each use we just take those little tabs put them on top snap it into place well all right guys i hope that serves to demonstrate how these machines work I love that you now have availability for more affordable dryers so you can work with your pet at home 
or not invest so much if you're just starting out in pet grooming. As, as a professional groomer, I definitely give thumbs up to both of these units. I would use both of these units on some big fluffy dogs that come into my salon without any hesitation because the power is definitely there. Love the heating elements. Love the fact that I can control the speed. So this really emulates some of my professional gear, but on the price point, again, this one is typically under $100 US and this one is typically under $200 US, but I will tell you a little secret. If you go on Amazon and you look around, there are coupons regarding the Kitkin box, so you can usually get it for a little cheaper than that. And all right, guys, I will be putting links to both of these dryers in the description below. All right, guys, hope this helps out. Happy grooming, guys. If you like this video, thanks for clicking that thumbs up. Thank you so much for subscribing, and thank you for your time. We will see you soon.